Hello friends, this is your girl Goldilocks here and we are back for another gift wrapping tutorial. So this gift wrapping tutorial is going to be Mardi Gras themed. I thought that would be really fun. FYI, I got all my materials from Dollar Tree. Well, except for my ribbon there. I didn't get that from Dollar Tree. Everything else came from Dollar Tree. We have the bees there. We got the gold wrapping paper. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need besides our ribbon. So obviously we're gonna just start off here by wrapping our box. I'm just using this old generic Amazon box, but feel free to use whatever you need wrapping. Uh, as you can see in the back there, we have a Mardi Gras themed gift basket. If you wanna check that out, link is in the description along with the original haul video. So you guys can see all the materials I got to celebrate this fabulous Mardi Gras. And so while we are wrapping our gift guys, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you can receive all the notifications. And as always, please make sure you watch the video to the very end so you can see how our final look comes together. All right. So you know what's funny? I've actually never been to Mardi Gras. I always wanted to go. I definitely visited New Orleans one time uh, long ago, but it wasn't for Mardi Gras, it was for graduation. So <laughs> I never really got to see the festivities and have fun and, you know, do all the crazy things that come along with going to Mardi Gras. Uh, but you know what? I can live vicariously through you. And <laughs> maybe you guys can leave your Mardi Gras experiences as long as they're, <laughs> as long as they're PG in the description that would be uh, pretty awesome so I chose this like gold paper because I don't know I just really thought it would be fun I used the silver paper in a previous video and I just absolutely fell in love with that silver paper silver rhinestone ribbon I thought it was absolutely fabulous so I decided hey if we're going with Mardi Gras let's do gold because I mean which holidays are gold wrapping paper really appropriate so very few and far in between so we decided hey we're gonna make this a Mardi Gras themed and we're going with the gold on gold on gold and as you can see oh it's so pretty okay cool so pretty and here's our ribbon so we're gonna do two ribbons. I actually just took the same ribbon and cut it in half because I didn't want it to be too cumbersome. Uh, I'm wrapping the first part of this ribbon around the top of the box uh, because I just want that look. And I'm actually gonna do the bow separately because it's just easier. This rhinestone ribbon is like so not easy to get into bows so <laughs> so I made the executive decision and decided hey I would just cut this ribbon in two parts and then I'll use one part to wrap around my package and make a little knot there so it's secure and then I'm going to use the other part just to make a bow so it's just you know I can make the similar size bow without using as much material so that's what I'm going to do here so this is just me wrapping it there and securing it and now I'm going to fiddle with my bow here for a little bit until I get it where I need it to be.
So I think I'm pretty happy with this bow. I used like a little bit of additional paper. You may see the angle there um, just to kind of fluff up the inside of the bow and I'm cutting off that extra leg of the first ribbon that I wrapped around and then I think I end up hot gluing it down so it wouldn't go anywhere and there you go um, and like I said I put some paper inside of the bow just to make it a little fluffy and to keep the shape uh, the ankle is funky there but once you stand it up uh, you can't see it and it looks fabulous so I'm taking part of my Mardi Gras beads because I thought it would be really fun to actually just glue the beads onto the package itself because isn't that really what Mardi Gras is all about or at least that's the main theme is the beads <laughs> so um, that's what I'm doing here I actually ended up cutting the beads so it could be like a string and then taking off like the mass medallion that was attached to it and I'm gonna take the beads and wrap them around the package I'm gonna try to hide my ends under my bow and then maybe along some seams and then after that I'm gonna end up gluing my little mask there we go our little mask um, various places on the package just to be really cool I was originally going to glue the beads with the mask on there but that didn't work out because it was like a little ring on there and it just looked funky and it didn't flow and I actually had a really difficult time gluing the mask down when I had it like that so I just took my little ring off and I separated everything so it would make it easier for me to detach and sure enough it worked out and here I'm just going along and I'm gluing uh, just various beads uh, as I place them along I'm not gluing each and every bead because then that would be way too much glue and way too much trouble and again as always even though we want to secure our packages our gift baskets and whatnot uh, it's still a gift that's meant to be open so while we want it to be secure we don't want it to be too secure where we can't get the inside goodness out <laughs> so always keep that in mind might be secure but not too secure it is meant to be beat up and ripped up at the end of the day uh, so just always keep that in mind uh, but anyway here we go and I think I end up doing four beads I probably could have did more honestly and I wouldn't have minded doing additional medallions onto this package but you know maybe next time it's all good I just wanted the mask in particular for this look because they were flat like I had other beads if you um, watch my gift basket uh, video of that lovely gift basket in the background uh, I had other beads that were they had like saxophones and just different designs on there so uh, I wouldn't mind doing those but after you know when I did this all those beads are in that basket so <laughs> I just had the four left so I wouldn't mind using a little bit more but I really really was satisfied with how this package came out and yeah again I just did four beads uh, two green two purple and then I glued the mask on separately and as you can see it looks like a huge Mardi Gras surprise all we need now is the L and this is our final look guys I really enjoyed making this gift I hope you guys enjoyed it too leave a comment and I will see you next time